Excerpt from the keynote speech delivered by Kirk Han, Xenobiologist, Revlin Chichirlax, to Galactic Consortium of Unified Species Annual Gathering. Now that we have gone over the origins of mankind, from primitive cave person to space herring civilization, we must discuss their unique methods of communication, via facial muscle and expression. The way in which humanity communicates with other members of its species is both special and unremarkable. They utilize their spoken word as their primary method, and as previously mentioned, differing human tribes across their homeworld speak different languages. But the real treasure is in not how they verbally speak to each other, but in how they communicate via non-verbal expressions. Humanity's face shape has uniquely evolved to allow them to express hundreds of varied emotions, and these hundreds of expressions are all innately understood by most humans. I would like to begin with analysing the mouth, as that is the focus point of many human emotions. The mouth will generally curve up to indicate a positive emotion, and will generally curve down to indicate negative ones, but this is not always the rule. It has been observed that when paired with the eyes and nose, the shape of a human's mouth is often deceptive. For example, an expression where a human opens their lips and exposes their teeth, with their eyes fully closed, often indicates extreme happiness or laughter. But, this same expression can be twisted into malevolence, with the slight tweak of furled eyebrows and intense staring via the eyes. It is really the combination of all facial features that comprises the true human expression, not many one single part. The eyes of a human being are, as they call it, windows into the soul. If a human closes one eye towards another creature, it is called a wink. This often denotes mischievousness or playful intention. The closing of both eyes is the action of blinking, a trait that is commonly shared amongst other galactic species. The expressions of a human's eyes can be inferred by the placement and condition of their eyebrows, patches of thin hair situated high on the head. The upward curvature of the eyebrow, away from the centre of the face and towards the hairline, often denotes surprise, fright, disgust or deep thought. The downward slant of the eyebrows can be an indicator of anger, confusion or deep thought once again. The inner part of the human eye is also essential to determining the emotional state of a human. If the pupil is enlarged within the iris, this is called dilation. It often denotes a traumatic physical injury, the influence of drugs within the human's body, or it could occur whenever there is not enough light present within the human's occupied space. The inverse of dilation is when the pupil is small within the iris, aka a constricted pupil. This is indicative of aggression of other hyperintense emotions, and whenever a light source is placed within extreme proximity to the eyeball, it could also be an indicator of substance abuse, similar to the dilated pupil. The nose is a curious human feature, as it assists with expression making, but that is not its primary function. The nose is mainly utilised for scent. Humans evolved enough nerve to be able to discern what was viable to consume as food, and what was not, as an object's scent was a reliable indicator for just that. If something smells amiss, then a human will recoil from it and opt to leave it alone. This action of smelling something foul or unsavoury produces a visible wrinkling of the nose. If a human you know wrinkles their nose at you, then it can be inferred that they most likely found something you said or did to be unpleasant. To end off this section of our species presentation, we will pair the expression of a human with the placement and position of the head in relation to their emotions. The position of the head is often instrumental in passing out what a human is feeling. If the head is tilted downwards and the eyes are cast upwards to look upon the subject through the eyelashes, this is often an indicator of deference, attention or submission. An abundance of blinking, winking or smiling can be a further confirmation of this. Of course, it could also be sarcastic in nature, it ultimately depends on the mouth. If a human's head is quirked to one side alongside a confused expression, this is an exaggerated expression of curiosity or concern. If a human is intensely frowning whilst turning the head, this could be a negative expression such as anger or offence. Finally, if a human seems stiff in both their head movements or facial expressions and does not visibly emote for an extended period, then there is most likely something off. Humanity is extremely emotional, and the purposeful concealment of what one is feeling is not considered typical. This expression of stonewalling should be investigated immediately, and taken very seriously. That concludes our section on the human face and the myriad expressions it can produce. Now we would like to present our findings on the human drive to fly amongst the stars.